thought about this for quite a while. Koreans can have pretty narrow beauty standards. However, when I see K-pop idols, they are so different between each other, and still, they are all beautiful. By realizing this, I just had to know how many of them really fit into the Korean beauty standard. Let's check it out. I based these stats on the 100 most beautiful K-pop female idols of 2019 list. Let's see where they fit. First, let's start with the body types. As I explained in another video, there are five main body types, apple, rectangle, inverted triangle, pear, and S-shape. S-shape is considered as the most common body type in K-pop, but the results are not what you think. From the 100 most beautiful girl idols, we have that only 37% have S-shape, while 27% have rectangle shape. On the other hand, for both pear and inverted triangle, there is a 13% and only a 10% is apple shape. This makes it obvious. There are many different body shapes, even in the K-pop industry, and all of them are beautiful in their own way. Then we have face shapes. If you're not sure about the difference between each face shape, the video is up here. But well, according to the stats, there wasn't a predominant face shape. 10% of girl idols have a rectangle shape, while heart, the most wanted and ideal face shape for Koreans, is only found in 23% of K-pop idols. Surprisingly, there are more girl idols with oval face, making it a 25% or a quarter of the 100 K-pop idols. These percentages are followed by a diamond shape, which is found in 17% of K-pop idols. Round faces are only followed with 1% less, being 16%. Lastly, for square faces, there were only 8% of people found there, and one person had an oblong face which is quite normal if you take into account that this face shape is not that common. Now comes an interesting one, height. Think about this for a moment. What height should an idol normally have? I always thought they were between 165 to 168 meters. I was so wrong. According to the stats, most girls are between the height of 160 to 164 meters, with an average of 46%. The second, which goes not too far away with a 36%, is a height between 165 to 169. After these two, I thought that there will be much more taller K-pop idols, but not that much. Only 10% of K-pop female idols are above 1.7 meters tall, and surprisingly, 8% are smaller than 1.6 meters. So, what do you think? Could you be a K-pop idol? Height may not be a problem after all. If you know a little more about Korean beauty standards, you will know that Koreans love big eyes, or the way they call it, double eyelids. Not surprisingly, a quarter or only 25% of the most beautiful idols have monoliths, or smaller eyes. However, I think they are one of the most beautiful girls that you can find anywhere around the world. Now, after getting these stats, how many idols do you think fit into the Korean beauty standards? Remember, they must have an S-shaped body type, with a heart or V-shaped face, with double eyelids and fair skin. Only 3% of all these beauties fit into this category. So, this shows that you don't have to be the ideal standard to be beautiful. For the last category, I divided them into 4 sections, depending on what positions they have in their group such as main vocal, main dancer, visual, and main rapper. Surprisingly, for main vocal, only a 16% were on the list, and similarly, only 15% were main dancers. And lastly, there were only 10 girls in this group that were categorized as main rappers. But half of these main rappers were also considered the visuals of the group. Interesting. So what do you think about this? For what I can take out is that Beauty comes in all shapes and personalities. It all depends on personal likes and how they feel about themselves. Because, after all, it's more important to feel good about yourself than trying to fit into one beauty stereotype. If you want more geeky videos of this style, tell me in the comments down below.